Ahem. So, uh, welcome back to Gene Forge. Apparently this place is just an infinite supply of enemies, because uh, I've been here for yonks. Here's the next day, by the way. And they just keep on coming, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. The enemies keep coming, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. So yeah, these must be infinitely spawning them, which is a bit of a shame. Because how am I supposed to bloody explore this place if I'm getting constantly barraged by dudes and stuff? So I kind of need to grab what I can. Uh, I've got mental magic. Oh, here we go already, apparently. I don't know, man. Like, maybe I'll have to come back here later. Maybe this is like the optional dungeon of the game. <laughs> interesting thing is though, if they keep coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming, how many levels how many levels can one can one get? A lot. Hello? Oh it's me. Hello, is it me you're looking for? No, they've already found me. So I might just have to oh grand. Hide. I think I've hidden. I kind of want to have a look around, but it's going to be a right old, a right old penis in the anus, in it. Quick, what have we got around here? Oh, this is where I've already been. Right, well, I guess I'm out of here again. Well, they're keeping keeping them distracted a bit. But yeah, I don't know, man. It's gonna suck. Did I already say it? I don't know. I think this, like each Gene Forge game, I think has like an optional dungeon thingy that's extremely difficult, but you get really cool stuff. And maybe this is that. Maybe this is this game's one. I didn't remember this game having one. In fact, I was basically 99% sure this game didn't have one, but I guess it does. If so, if this is it. A bit silly, really. <laughs> At least I got a nice chunky dose of 30 experience there. Because my dudes are gone. Run! So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll come back here later. Maybe I'll grind there off camera. But for now, I think I'll bog off somewhere else. I've gained a few levels or something. That's a nice, tasty bonus right there. Because whatever's there, I wouldn't mind getting it. I don't know what's there, though. Right, anyway, <clears throat> let's remake our people. And then we'll go somewhere else, won't we? Oh, wait. I could always turn it back down to easy as well if I have to. I kind of forgot. I kind of forgot I had it on normal now. Because it's just so easy. do that eventually. But for now, no. No, no! Sorry about this. There we go. That'll do. We could make another one, but I don't want to overload. How are we doing, by the way? Oh god, we've already almost leveled up again. Yeah, I could quite easily get a few more levels from there, I guess. But for now, let's head back to this place, the Great Temple. Oh, wait, um... Also, I looked up the thing about the pillars. Should we do that instead? I think we will. Because how are you supposed to figure this out? I don't know if there's a hint in the game or anything, but... Oh, I don't remember where the one here is. You've got to touch the pillars. The pillars that shock you, you've got to touch them in a certain order in all these different places, and there's eight different places where you have to touch one. Do what the hell? Oh, I don't bloody remember where they are though. God, was this one of them? I should probably cut it out there. Touch the bare spot. You don't feel anything special. I guess that means you touched the right one. Uh, next is. And we can turn that back to the normal one now, because we're not in that silly place anymore. 
Next is Ancient Crypt. Where was that? Not there, please. Who? <laughs> Sentinels. Wait, apparently, apparently you go clockwise, kind of. Someone said. Maybe we haven't found it yet. No, I, I know I've seen Ancient Crypt. Gosh! You'd think it would be a cave, wouldn't you? I have seen Ancient Crypt, thank you very much. I think it was over the west somewhere though, wasn't it? Crystal Burrow, Quiet Marshes... North Bridge... The Tombs... Huh. Ancient Crypt. Oh, it was right next to it. Where was the one here? It was... I don't know. Yeah, I'll just see when I find them. I think it was over here, wasn't it? I know I kept notes of where they were in the certain maps, but for some silly reason I got rid of those notes and just replaced it with... Touch the pillars in this order. Drake's Vale, Ancient Crypt, Diarazad, The Junkyard, Touch the Bear Spot... Uh, dry Wastes, Western Wastes, Valley of the Wind, and Spirit City. I only recently went to Diarazad, but I don't remember where it is. I think it was like the top leftish, wasn't it? Or middle leftish. Where we go, Diarazad? Touch the bare spot, don't feel anything special. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Yonk Yard. Meow. Meow. Don't feel anything special. Yeah, you're damn right I don't. Don't feel anything special for this cryptic ass. Well, dry wastes. Um. Don't feel anything special. It's probably not rec or probably not required. I mean, obviously, it isn't required because I never would have figured this out my first time, but. I guess it's cool when there's like a really well hidden secret in a game. There's also another cool thing about this. You start here and you sort of, you go whoop, 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 and then it will connect in a circle until eventually you get to Spirit City. I guess that's pretty cool. Western Wastes! Whoop. You don't feel anything special. Valley of the Wind. It does bloody well take a while though, doesn't it, going to each of these places. You don't feel anything special. Not too long though, because at least the pillars are marked with like a, a platform under it, so you can relatively... Hello? You can relatively easily find it. God, you're just making it take even longer, you silly worm. Wormitage. Oh. Yeah, you must wait for your creations, eh? Yeah. Yeah, you must. And finally, it's Spirit City. Where was it here? I'm just recording this one because... Oh yeah, it was in here, wasn't it? Just recording this one because this is the last leg of it. And apparently, it does something rather significant, this does. And, uh... You rub the worn area. You feel a warm, blessed sensation. You also feel a strange, almost overpowering desire to enter the temple. Damn right I do. Meow. The runes remain... Oh. You enter the temple. You feel very cold and alone, and very unwelcome. Shadowy eyes watch you carefully from the darkness. What? Well, I thought I was alone. Waiting for a misstep, so that they may devour you. Might devour you. Each guard watches one of the side passages off of the room. Leaving the main chamber without permission seems perilous. The, remain, the runes remain unchanged as you step over them. Oh, I don't see any guards. Oh, yeah, I do. Guard spirit. They don't have much health. Hello? Hello? Priest spirit. What have we got here? I don't think I've ever been here or even seen this. 
You meet yet another ancient ghost. It surprises you in two ways. First, it doesn't attack you. That doesn't surprise me. I've met a bunch that don't attack me unless I do something to provoke them. Second, it begins to speak. Yeah, some others have. And you understand it. Yeah, some others have. It speaks your tongue perfectly clearly. Mm, maybe the others weren't perfectly clear. Perhaps some magic is at work. Hello, visitor. I welcome you as long as you bring peace and do not go where you are not bidden. Have you found the secret yet? Well, yeah, I had to, to get here. What secret? The shade points at the northeast passage. There, you may go there, only there. There's two passages up there. Which one? There is a secret. There is the secret. When you have seen the secret, return. Yeah, there's two. Which one? Probably this one. Hopefully, anyway, because that's where I'm going. No, not... Okay, not that one. Thanks. Northeast Passage, my ass. What a trickster. Okay, I guess if you look at the map, this is the most northeastern one. So this one also doesn't have a guard. Oh, okay, that's one of my people coming. Oh, I'll just take the shaped ones if you don't mind, that's all. Hello? You immediately recognise the main feature of this plain room. It's a tiny stone platform in the northeast corner. It is very bare, very rough, very old, but its purpose is still clear. It is a shaping platform. I'll oh, just like those ones in the Shaper Crypt for full. <laughs> um, cruder than what your people use, but the purpose is the same. Could it be? Could the natives who lived here be, in some way, the ancestors of the Shapers? Whoa! Could this be the home of your people? It might, in some way, be what drew your people here to do their research. Something found in these ruins might have been the catalyst which helps the Shapers here discover such astonishing things. It's like the Lost Island, with all the Dharma tests. No, it isn't. Or maybe it's just a strange coincidence. You'll probably never know. Is that it? Is that the secret that I've been waiting for? Stand on it and get shaped. Oh, sorry, I did it off camera so you didn't see the gory effects. Now I have a big dragon paint. Oh! Hi, I've seen the secret. It wasn't very good. It's not a secret! It's right there in an open tunnel! Now we will speak further. I will discuss the secret. Are you the ancestors of my people? Yes, that is the secret. It's not a secret. You performed the rituals and you entered, and I share with you what has been shared with no other. What happened here? You. What happened to you? You mean no one else has ever been here? I'm the first player to ever come here. Whoa. We had magic, our people. We had magic. We did all we could with it. Then we used it to discover things. We looked deep below the earth and beyond the sun. Whoa, space. Did you see Garrus? And then we looked within. We looked deep within ourselves, our bodies. And what did you see there? Tiny scrolls. You know. You know the secret. You know how to use magic to rebuild life. It all started in here, in this temple. We turned it from a place of worship to a place of work. We worked on warping life, remaking it, reshaping it to our purposes. And thus this building was the seed of our DOOM! Doom? How? Well, they made a good game. This is id software. We've made it to the HQ. We used the power as a weapon, and as a bludgeon. A bludgeon is a weapon. We were not careful, not precise. Our magicians randomly warped our enemies. Oh, twisted their pants. No, their parts destroyed their organs, made them fall. That sounds bloody nightmare fuel, that does. We tried to form an empire against the savages around us, starting here. But the random way we attacked changed things, created horrible creatures, stronger than what we attacked, made diseases. I wonder, I wonder if we encounter any of the things that were made. Probably not. But like, I wonder if that's, maybe that's where all those weird misshapen bones come from. Probably not though. Anyway, it's interesting, isn't it? And then? Most of us died. The rest fled this place, fled these green lands which became infected. Dusty waste wastes. Ah, oh, that's what happened, is it? Yeah. Taking with us our secrets and our wisdom, we went to the mainland. Uh-oh. I guess that explains why all of the land around this particular section is wastelands and stuff, then. 
you know, dry wastes and all that. Ooh. And then I would guess we became you. There the story ends. That's the birth of the Shapers. Biggest mistake of life. Oh. If our people are the same, can you get the ghosts to stop attacking me? Don't need to, they're all dead. Not ghosts. Some of our kind with magic and knowledge of shaping. They adopted that form, striving for long life. I was one such. Well, it's not life, is it? Unless you actually are just a normal living being, but except now you have the bonus of being able to fly and go through walls into the girl's locker room. Only I r maintained my thoughts. All the rest became mindless, haunted beings. You just said not ghosts. That sounds decidedly ghostly. Waiting for the release of death is decidedly the word, whatever. The mercy. I cannot control them. Nobody can. They have no minds to control anymore. I can control them. As in, I can control when they die. My people were here for a while researching. Did they ever contact you? No, but had they stayed longer, they would have. And I would have spoken with them. But they were too distracted, so they never came. They are enemies... There are enemies of our people on this island. Will you help me? I have little mind left. Only enough to tell stories and to defend this sacred place. That is all I can do. I cannot even understand what you just said. What? Then how did you give me an, a normal answer to it? Mm. Well, that's that then, isn't it? We didn't even get any experience. What am I supposed to do now? I want to know what's in these other chambers. But these guys will probably fuck my shit up if I attack them. Shall we give it a go, though? Guess so. Whoa. Bit of a... Speedy nut bar. Did I just... I just hasted the enemy. What's the point of that? Well, the soon-to-be enemy, that is. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. As long as he doesn't get an attack off, we might be fine. And he's not going to get an attack off. <sighs> these are, did these guys not even get angry? Oh, that one did. The others probably did as well now. Luckily, it looks like only the priest had that big AoE thing. So it might just be fine. Kill that one. It's being a right knob. Wow. Even leveled up. Ah, any more? Anyone else want some? Energy stun, yeah, it's just that again. Spectre stuff. These are the equipments that Shepard got as a spectre. These scrolls are still surprisingly intact. There are more magical notes and diagrams. You can't understand them. Why? That's not very fair, is it? I want to learn some stuff. I worked hard to get in here. And all I get is knowledge, basically, and a little bit of experience that I could get from the infinitely spawning twats. Better be something good in one of these chambers. I guess lore is a good reward, though. Wow. Wow! Wheels! Hello? Oh, that's the secret chamber, which isn't a secret. And a chest with... <gasps> wow. Oh, dexterity. It's not bad, but I'd rather have the three luck. That's only one dexterity. Like, what the hell, dude? What a silly place. Bye. Watch me die on the way out. Now I'm trapped in here for all eternal cheese balls. There you go. You worked hard for some story mode. Goodbye. Get, let's get back to what we were doing, shall we? Get back to things that are actually interesting. It was interesting. Look, the temple on the map looks like a bug with a wub on one of its feet. Maybe it looks like a Roma. Maybe it looks like a Fiora. Don't know. Hello? Good. Don't you dare get stuck behind somewhere. Oh. Okay, where shall we go? Well, we were heading over this way, so I might as well go to the Great Temple. 
have a look. Oh! Gamma greeter. You don't greet gammas, you greet me. Battle alphas. It's not an alpha, it's a gamma. Are one of the most difficult and powerful creations. They are massive slabs of muscle return the slab with dedicated, if tiny, brains. This creature has clearly been given a series of instructions which he is carrying out now. It lumbers up to you and says, You're in home of Gorge now. Gorge say he see and talk with you. Hopefully he sells stuff as well. You follow me. Stay close. Other creatures here kill you quick. The creature turns to walk off. Um, lead or follow? Not right now. Tell me about Goetch. I take you to Goetch now. He tell you all about Goetch. You follow me. Lead on. I will follow. Yes, you follow me. You not follow. The gods kill you. Follow now. <laughs> Oi. Oh, you want me to go to the exit? This ruin is the largest ancient building you have seen on Susia Island. How do I know? I haven't been in it yet. I've only seen the entrance. This might be the only room, and these tunnels are just illusions. Um, it is an enormous structure with tall, arched stone roofs and massive, intact pillars. The markings and drawings on the walls seem to indicate it was a temple, and maybe a seat of government as well. Oh great, the government. Politics. There is a lot of politics in this series, actually, but not so much this one. The markings look both like prayers and records, with poetry and laws. Whoever it was used for, it was clearly the center of much activity. I mean, whatever it was used for. Recently, however, it has been adopt adapted for other purposes. There, are accu there is accumulated rubble and garbage. Several tattered banners bearing shaper symbols hang from the walls. It looks like they have been brought from elsewhere. Whoa, that's a long way. You brought it from a whole other franchise. The tracks of creations are in the dust everywhere. You see the distinctive trails of both battle alphas and drakes. Oh no. There is the faint smell of dragon, of essence, in the air. This mighty ruin has recently been commandeered and turned into a shaper outpost, and a well-guarded one at that. An obelisk before you clearly states who has, who has taken up residence here. I think you mean taken. It says, Realm of Goetch. Realm? God, he seems like a big-headed twat lord, doesn't he? Okay, I guess you're leading me on the safe path. Slow down! The safe path through this place. I am following. If I wasn't following, I wouldn't be able to see you saying it. Slow down! This used to be the core of this building. It still is. It just isn't used for it anymore. Whether the most important ceremonies here were political, religious, or both, they took place in this room. Since then, however, this room has been extensively remodelled. All of the old things have been torn out and replaced with a rough shaper laboratory. DD. I should have named my character DD so I could get out of his laboratory. Fungal control panels and tables covered with equipment line the walls. At the north end of the room you see a shaper, flanked by a pair of loyal serviles. The shaper is tall and of heavy build, fatty. He looks like he was very strong and skilled even before he arrived on Susia Island. The use of augmentation canisters has left him radiating power and confidence, oh no. When he sees you, he smiles confidently. He doesn't seem to see you as the slightest threat. Pfft, whatever. Cocky son of a... Ah, oh, the shaper has come at last. Welcome, I'm Gotch. Um, you, you, you are my guest. Inspect what you want. Take what you want. As long as you do not wander too far from this chamber, you are safe. Please, now, come speak with me. I don't know, maybe I'll... Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just take whatever I want. As you said I could. So I will do just that. Ah, cheers! That was very tasty, that was. That's a lot of... Dudes. It's probably alright, though, if I speed myself, right? How much health have they got? 27! <laughs> He's probably a toughie, though, isn't he? God, this is rubbish, dude. At least there was a restoration pod, but that only works on one target. Major healing spores. God, look at these weaklings. This servile has a vacant, weak expression of the newly created. Goetch made this specimen by hand to be a totally obedient servant. It has none of the independence of the other serviles on this island. 
It looks up at you with fear. It doesn't want to speak with you. It just shies away. You soon give up on speaking with it. Well, I've only got five minutes left, and this conversation is probably going to be quite long, but... I guess I have to get started. Can't just spend the next five minutes doing nothing, can I? Goetch the Shaper has the detached, arrogant look and gentle glow of a repeat canister user. Oh, like me. The magic of Susio Island was powerfully augment has powerfully augmented him. He looks you over, trying to analyse how strong you've grown. He doesn't look impressed. What? I am Goetch Shaper. I have brought I was brought here like you, a victim of the trickery of Trashkoff. The outsider, the invader. You have gone to great effort to reach me. Now I must know, why are you here? I've come to speak with you. I want to learn more about this island. No, I don't. I've already learned everything. I'm glad. I would like to share. I would like to parley with you. <laughs> parley. With an upside down B. There is a way you can help me in the shape of people. And if you help me, I can help you in return. Tell me how you came to Susia Island. <laughs> the same way you did. Oh, good laugh. No, it wasn't. I was imprisoned, captured by Trashkoff. I was being sent to a new colony to take it over and administer it. Oh. A mild honour at best, though not a position without hope of advancement. Then his ship slew my craft and I swam to shore at the last at the east edge of this island. There I was abducted. How? You're a powerful shaper. By who? Trashkov. Trashkoff and his dummies, his puppets, addled in the brain by shape and magic beyond them. Trashkov abducted me for the same reason he captured you. He needed a shaper's help to master... He, what? He didn't capture me. He needed a shaper's help to master the incredible power here. He was a tool. How could he think any shaper in, this, in his right mind would help him usurp our sacred secrets? As soon as I figured out what he had found, I took action. Huh? He had found the Gene Forge. It is the most amazing work of shaper magic I have ever found. It has the power to rework, to remake anyone who uses it, giving them awesome power. Awesome! You talk like a teen. No, you don't. Hmm. <laughs> Stop it. Go itch laughs. All you need is a pair of gloves. I don't like doing a laugh. It sounds fake and stupid and cringe. All you need is a pair of gloves, a special pair of gloves, which modulates and channels the power of the Gene Forge. You had one pair of those gloves, one happy pair. How can gloves be happy unless they're living gloves? And I took them. I have been... I have them here. I have been here. <laughs> can I have those gloves? No! There is only one person who will ever use them. Me! Oh great, he wants power as well. And what will happen now? I will use the Gene Forge. That won't happen now. The Gene Forge is over the other side of the island. Its power is too great to be wasted, and only I have the strength to con and control to master it. First, though, there is a stalemate. Trashkoff is there. I am here. Neither of us has the strength to defeat the other. I do. That is why I have allowed you to reach me without slaying you. Uh, excuse me, you looked at me and looked disappointed in my power. What do you want me to do? That is why... I, oh, right. I have another question. Goetch watches you with his fiery eyes. Well, you should put that out if you want to see in the near future. No, no movement of yours escapes his eyes. What do you wish now? What do you want? And how can you help me? There is a war on this island. It is a deadly stalemate. At this end, there is me at the other trash cough. Each of us must slay the other. It's like Harry Potter. Each has control of something the other needs. Each of us hopes you will break the deadlock. Trashkoff is too proud to admit that he needs you. Well, he hasn't met me yet, so I don't know if he's too proud. I am not. Help me kill him. If you do, I will give you what you want. And what do I want, eh? I will give you power, and I will help you escape this accursed island. I kind of like it here, actually. There's drakes. I'd rather go live with Rack. Oh, wait. <sighs> What sort of power will you give me? Ha ha ha! That would be telling! Ha ha ha! Yeah. Trashkoff is very powerful. Can you help me kill him? How do I know? I have a trick which might work. If you are very cunning and clever... Oh yeah, that describes me. Basically. You may have a chance. Goetch hands you a pair of gloves. They are shaping gloves. Cunning, protective devices. 
commonly used in shaper experiments. To use the gene forge, Trashkov needs a pair of gloves currently in my possession. These are not the gloves. They are an almost perfect replica. Take them to Trashkov. If you are exceptionally convincing, you might be able to get him to believe that these are the shaping gloves I took. If he tries to use these on the gene forge, he will be in for a very painful surprise. Hoo -hoo. How can I reach Trashkov? That is your concern. God! He, he holds the research halls at the northeast corner of the island. I'm sure you can figure out how to reach him somehow. Can you give me equipment or other help? Well, he just did. He gave me some gloves. No, I would much rather keep my resources for myself, except you just said I could take anything I want. You are a strong and industrious soul. Help yourself. I already did. To your goods. <laughs> uh, did I read everything here? Yeah. Um, we might as well just finish the convo. What was this ruin? I do not know. I do not concern myself with history. Well, you're an idiot, aren't you? Look at history to realise the mistakes that shapers have made. It is not relevant to my quest, my new destiny. Power-hungry son of a... Oh! I have adapted this place to my own purposes and filled it with guards of my choosing. Yeah, some of them are sexy, got to admit. What sort of guards? Look around! The finest drakes, you damn straight, and battle creations. I did not know it was possible to make drakes anymore. You can make anything you want. Now I can, thanks to the marvellous canisters. Can I have some? I want to make some sex, I mean, um, friends. So many things our people denied us. So many things I can do now. Well, you're a rebel, aren't you? My creations wander these whores, and many of them are ordered to kill strangers on sight. I'm not a stranger anymore. I would suggest restricting your movements, otherwise you may be slain. I'm very interested in learning about the ancients who lived here. Could you tell your guards to not attack me? Goetch frowns, then he thinks about it, then he laughs. <laughs> oh, not again. If I thought there was a chance that you could possibly hurt me in this elevated state, I would refuse. But you are my guest. Go ahead. Wander around. If you enter my chambers or try to go anywhere you should not, my traps will make short work of you. My chambers are in the northwest corner. Stay away. No. <laughs> Drakaya laughs. Nah, I don't think I'll do that. I'll go wherever I want. No. Um, don't you know this island is barred? Why are you still here? This island was barred by the Shaper Council. You can wander this world for a thousand years and you will never find a more baffled or important, impotent group of fools than the Shaper Council. Well, it's time for a swift death for you, isn't it? I thought I was coming here to meet the good guy, but he's just a twat. You have seen the wonders here. I have, actually. You have had a taste of the power and glory that just sits around, ready for the taking. I reject the Shaper Council and all of their foolishness. The power here is our birthright. I will not let them steal it. Oh. I, I always pressed I tire of this banter. You must die now. I must go thinking all this. Goodbye. All right, just do not wander too far into my home, and remember, if you can help me, I can reward you well. Fire, fake shaping gloves, not fire shaping gloves. Oh, no, where are they? Oh, the key item, obviously. Well then, very interesting that is, isn't it? Probably try and kill him. Unfortunately, we've got a bunch of big boys around, so... I don't know. But next time we're going to have a look around here. See what we can see. See what we can do. Yeah, I don't know. Probably try and kill some things around. But everyone will get angry then, won't they? I ain't going to help him. I ain't going to help anyone. I'm going to destroy the Gene Forge. It's too powerful. No one can be trusted. You've seen what it does to people. It makes them crazy, I tell you. Look, the Gene Forge will be mine. Psycho. Thanks for watching. See you next time.